In this video, I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on how to use the Exodus wallet. The first thing we're gonna need is the actual Exodus wallet itself. So we're gonna head over to exodus.com. That link will be down below. Just go ahead and click on download right here. And whatever version you're running, a Windows or a Mac, you're gonna choose whichever one here. I'm running Windows. You just go ahead and click on download. I'm gonna download the Windows 64 version to my computer. It'll download it. So I'll show you guys here real quick. It'll download it, pop up in this little bottom area down here. You're just gonna go ahead and click on it. It'll install. It happens very quickly. And when it does, you will have a desktop icon. It looks just like this right here. And you will go ahead and double click on that and the Exodus wallet will go ahead and pop up and it'll look similar to this. Of course, first install, you won't have any assets like I do here and you won't have all of these apps up here. I'll get into what these apps are here in a second. So like I said, this is gonna be the splash page or landing page. You're gonna happen upon once you go ahead and open the wallet and it's just going to list all your assets that you have and you can also scroll down here a little bit and it'll give you a detailed information on what assets you do have if you want to add different assets or cryptocurrencies whatever you want to call them to your wallet you can scroll all the way to the bottom click on add more and it'll give you a list i believe there's like 50 right now that you can add to the wallet and you just scroll down and pick which one you want and go ahead and click on over here and it'll go ahead and add it to the wallet. Once it is added to the wallet, you'll go back to the home screen and it should, like I said, pop up on your home screen here under assets. Of course, you won't have anything in it right now. It's just gonna show on your home screen. So moving on, we're gonna go ahead and click on wallet. This is gonna be your actual wallet where you can send and receive cryptocurrencies. So I'm gonna scroll all the way over to the front and I'll show you guys that real quick. I can click on, let's say Litecoin. I got about $64 as of the making of this video. If I wanted to send somebody some Litecoin, just go ahead and click on send right there. It's nice and easy. They will give you a wallet address. You would go ahead and paste that wallet address right here in this line. Choose how much you would want to send. I could say I want to send half of what I got. Just click on half right there and go ahead and click send. And that would be as easy as it is as sending Litecoin or whatever coin you wanted to send using the Exodus wallet. If you did want to receive any kind of coin, this is all the same for any kind of coin you choose. Just go ahead and click on receive. It's going to give you your wallet address right here. You can go ahead and click on copy or you can scan this little QR code type deal right there. And then you would give the wallet address over to whoever wants to send you Litecoin or Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, whatever the case may be, so that they can go ahead and send you the cryptocurrency of your choice. All right, so the next little app up here is called Swap. This is where you can go ahead and swap various cryptocurrencies for one another. So for this instance, say I wanted to swap, let's say 25 Ethereum Classic. I would in return get 59,209 Digibyte, or I could click this little drop down arrow and it'll give you certain choices that you can swap it to. Maybe I wanted to swap it to Binance right there. And then all you would have to do is go ahead and click on swap now to give you a little pop up to make sure that's what you want to do. Sometimes it can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, maybe a little longer. It just depends on how the congested the network is. So that's the swap feature from within the wallet. Moving on, the fiat on-ramp, you can go ahead and buy cryptocurrency from within the wallet. So let's say I wanted to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin or whatever crypto I wanted, maybe XRP right there. I can do that right from within the wallet. You would go ahead and click on continue. And it would ask you to pop up over here to the website using the Sardine website right here to go ahead and buy crypto with. And you would go ahead and enter your details. And that's how you go ahead and buy cryptocurrency right from within the Exodus wallet. So let's go ahead and head back over to home. All right, so some of these uh, actual apps up here may not go ahead and show up. You're just gonna go ahead and click on that little plus sign and you can go ahead and install these various apps that are in here. NFTs, Exodus Web3 Wallet, Rewards and Exodus Shares. I've already installed them. Right here, there'll be a little button that says install. All you can do is click on it. It happens almost instantaneously. And then they will go ahead and show up here on this home page. So moving right along, we're going to go over to Exodus Web3 Wallet. And this would just bring you over to here where you can actually install this for Chrome. And then, of course, you can sync it with your software wallet you got right here on the computer, which is a pretty neat feature. You can also put Exodus Wallet for your phone as well, but I, that'll be for a different video. All right, so moving on, Compound Finance. This is where you can actually earn interest with your crypto. 
As you can see right here, I'm earning interest with Dai right now. And as of right now, I'm pretty sure that's the only one that you can earn interest with. So if you do have Dai or you want to go ahead and purchase some Dai, you can get some Dai in your wallet and you can come over to here and you can actually deposit some more. Then you just go ahead and click on deposit and your Dai would begin compounding. As you can see, I've made almost five Dai over the lifetime since I have been using this feature from within the wallet. All right, let's go ahead and head back over to home. All right, so moving right along, we have the NFT features. Again, if that does not show up, just click on the little plus and install that app and it will go ahead and show up. This is where you can just have your own NFTs right in your wallet and you can keep them nice and secure. And you, know, you can go ahead and click on your NFT address depending on what network you're using, Algorand, Ethereum, or Solana. Of course, that's beyond the scope of this actual video, but this is where you can go ahead and store your NFTs right in the wallet itself. So let's go ahead and click on plus two. And we've got some other apps that I wanted to show you. If we scroll down here a little bit, we got rewards. This is where you can go ahead and stake coins from within the wallet. These are all your options right now. It looks like you've got about seven. And right now I'm staking Cardano and Tezos. Let's say you wanted to start staking Algorand, just go ahead and click on start earning. And of course you would have to have Algorand in your wallet. Wallet, and it will give you the option here to go ahead and stake. As you can see, it says swap algo because I don't have any algo in my wallet, but that's as easy as it is to go ahead and start staking right from within the wallet itself. Let's go ahead and head back over to home. All right, and last but not least, if you scroll down here a bit, you got Exodus shares. This is just for their initial public offering. If you guys wanted to go ahead and invest in the actual company itself, you can go ahead and do that right here. All right, so let's head back over to home. One last thing, probably the most important thing you guys want to do within the wallet itself is go ahead and make sure you create a password and you're going to want to go ahead and download the security phrase in case the wallet does go ahead and crash, you can have a backup. So you're going to go over the settings right here. You're going to click on backup. And of course, right here is where it's going to ask you. Once you click on backup, it'll pop up and say, enter a password right here, which you're going to want to do. Make sure you don't forget the password. And once you go ahead and do that, you're going to want to go ahead and click on view recovery phrase. It's going to be a 12 word phrase. You're going to want to actually print this out and keep it in a safe location. You definitely don't want to keep this on a computer. You want to do that in case the wallet, your computer crashes, wallet crashes, whatever the case may be. That way you can enter that 12 word phrase and get all your crypto back and go ahead and be good to go as far as that concerned. So make sure you create a password and, and you go ahead and download that 12 word phrase. It's also a good idea to not keep all your cryptocurrency in one spot. With that being said, make sure you check out my video on the Zellcore wallet. It should be popping up right here. Thanks for watching, guys.